All right, guys, that is the airplane we are going to take today over to Houston. And uh, we are doing a maintenance run on this airplane. Actually, we're dropping it off to a maintenance facility over there in Houston. And then we're going to grab a deadhead and fly back over to Phoenix. So uh, that's what's going on today. We just deadheaded in from Phoenix to here. It was, you know, average. Actually, it's very overcast outside right now. But, yep, that's the mission for today. All we need is... Uh, we use the ops agent. <laughs> so once we get someone to uh, let us in, we can actually take it right away. There's no, uh, there's no waiting. We don't have to wait for anything. We can uh, just grab our stuff. We have our dispatch release and everything. We can just go uh, because we have 36 minutes to catch our deadhead on the way home. So, and as you can tell, I'm not in my uniform today. I'm in my maintenance uniform. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. It's an uphill, uh, uphill little deal. <laughs> oh, it's sealed. All right. Right now we got the uh, airplane that's sealed. Security deal. Just to make sure there's no funny business on the airplane before we get to it. No funny business. But that's it. Yes, All right, guys. Hey, we're back. Hey, empty airplane. Where did everybody go? Go, go, go. Again, taking it over to Houston. Just getting it in, powering it up right now. Get everything going. Do that for the walk around. Got all our paperwork here. Just one to Houston. See, that take us uh, three hours and seven minutes. So uh, yeah, three hours, seven minutes, altitude of 41,000 feet. So we're gonna put that in there. And landing is 46 feet, so we'll put 50 feet in there. That's good, we're on right mission. We did hear uh, today that uh, some of the, some of our data stuff is down. Actually, it looks like the flight plan request came in, but there might be some issues with our weight and balance uh, getting that electronically, but we have backups to that. So, all right, we got ATC clearance there, but uh, let's see what we got in here first. All right, 117 and it's good. Information alpha, six miles missed, few at uh, zero. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> 1200 broken, overcast to 1400. It's like uh, 57 degrees out there and uh, three triple zero. Yeah, put that in three triple zero and a thousand sixty two that's a thousand feet above uh, the airport elevation uh when our stuff happens so all right that's uh that's what that looks like let's put that in here three triple zero departing runway is three zero left there's a notum okay so five 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 so that runway condition of five 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 just basically means that they're predicting the runway to be wet right now or the runway condition currently is wet so that's what we'll use. We'll actually put that in when we do our uh, performance weight and balance. We'll put uh, number five in there. Clear Techie 3 lotion, then as filed. Techie 3 lotion, and then as filed. A fly filed route is Boyle Q4 El Paso, Fort Stockton, and uh, San Antonio for the Beller 4. So Boyle El Paso, Fort Stockton, San Antonio, and then the Beller 4 arrival. So those two match, uh, we'll double check it in our iPad as well. Then uh, once the captain gets in and gets all settled and gets his stuff up and runs his flow, uh, we'll review the entire process uh, or our uh, filed route, clearance limits, all that good stuff. Uh, we got squawk of 3616. So that, we're gonna test out the uh, TCAS just to make sure it's good. Actually, I can't do that yet because we haven't, uh, we haven't got spooled up yet. But Check all the liquids. Got good quantity. Oils are good. Gas system test fail. And we've got the oil or the uh, oxygen. You can see that up there too. So fluid checks good. Yeah, you, know, you heard the TCAS fail. It's just because none of our avionics are up yet. So um, we're too quick. We're too quick. But we're gonna get the rest of the stuff going um, and get ready to go out of here. We we're actually a lot faster than we could be because we have no passengers on board. So we're. We're moving pretty quick, but uh, the mission, the goal right now is to get to Houston. And then the goal after that is to get home. <laughs> so. All right, guys, we uh, we just kind of went over the maintenance write-up 
um, on the airplane. And the reason why we're taking it to Houston is because it has a laboratory uh, issue where they can't basically clear the lab. So the labs are in op right now. So obviously you can't operate a passenger airline with a bunch of people in the back with no laboratories for any extended period of time. So that's why we're taking the airplane over to get it serviced over there at Houston. The only problem is it is a three hour flight. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be like being in the Cirrus so, uh, for one of those long extended flights. So uh, it's going to be interesting. And, uh, but, you know, again, nothing, uh, nothing wrong with the airplane as far as flyability. It's just got to go three hours without using the lounge. Here we go. We'll do that test again. Everything is up, so it should test good. Here we've got the TCAS symbols up. That's why it's not being... TCAS system test okay. So we're pretty excited about that. All right. Yeah, okay. so there you go. TCAS <laughs> system test good. Uh, the rest of the stuff is up. We're getting our final paperwork all done. We just uh, finished getting everything ready. There was one uh, issue that we're having today that uh, we have to do uh, our backup apps. If you notice here, it looks exactly like an FMS here. So uh, we're going to have to do our performance weight and balance on here and get uh, our flight takeoff. Uh, data this way. So one of the things we have to do if we have an issue with uh, Connectability or anything like that. So got audible, right? The ever popular audible. So we're gonna get that done uh, It is gonna take a little bit more time So I'm gonna concentrate my efforts on that and then uh, our goal is to get out of here and uh, we have 36 minutes to get to our deadhead. So uh, Yeah, we're gonna do that. But anyways, uh, cool, huh? All right, you gotta do a stowaway check. So that looks good. <laughs> uh, we will see you in Houston. All right, guys, we are here. Uh, we just parked right out front of the hangar. Brand new hangar here in Houston. This is pretty awesome. But uh, we parked out there. They hooked us up, towed us into the hangar. But. Uh, that's it. Now we've got uh, we've got about 15 minutes to get to the uh, the other side in our gate. It's going to be very very difficult to do, but we're going to give it the old college try and head on out. So see you in a second. The next day. This is obviously the next day. Um, ooh, it's chilly. Look at that. 61 degrees. Come on, man. This is Phoenix. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I got about to get to a cardio session going on, but I did want to debrief yesterday. Learned a couple things. First thing I learned was uh, how important hydration is. <laughs> so obviously we had that airplane. It was three hours uh, to get to to get over to Houston, but not only was it three hours, but you know it was that whole. Uh, you know, it took us about 15 minutes before we even pushed back just because we were manual on our weight balance. And then when we landed, we had a taxi in, so it was like three and a half hours, almost you know, three hours, 45 minutes-ish, uh, just from push back to go. So uh, I purposely did not drink any water or anything uh, other than what I drank on my deadhead flight to get to San Jose, and that was a complete mistake. Um, hydration is super important, um, especially when you're flying because it has so many benefits, right? You know, brain function, body function, all that good stuff. But for me, it was, I had a massive headache uh, by the time we landed and then we had to rush over to the airport uh, to jump on our deadhead flight. Luckily, it was running a little bit behind, so we were able to get on that and get home. But by the time I got home, I was completely wrecked, like a uh, headache and all that good stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, hydration. But other, other than that, the flight went great, um, other than not having a lab. <laughs> but uh, seeing the new facility out there, and I wanted to take a lot more video of the facility there in Houston. It is gorgeous on the south side of the field. Uh, I was told that is our biggest hangar at Southwest Airlines, and uh, it is. it was amazing. So we pulled up uh, just to the front of the hangar, uh, they hooked us up, towed us in, and then we started getting our stuff out, and that's where I kind of got a little bit of the uh, the video there, just to show you guys a little bit. But that was the video for the week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a real quick one, just to, you know, deadhead up to San Jose, grab a grab an airplane that needed maintenance, needed to be loved on, and then fly it all the way to Houston, 
and then jump on a, uh, a deadhead uh, coming back. Uh, the flights are full. It is the holiday season. Bring your patience. Everybody's working super hard or super hard for you guys out there um, just to get you guys where you need to go. Um, there's going to be hiccups just like in any operation. We just appreciate you guys' patience uh, as always. So with that, thank you. I'm going to get my workout in. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a nasty one. But have a good day. We'll see you on the next video.